Good morning everyone, my name is Josh and today we are in the White Mountains. It's about 5.30 a.m. It's cold outside, I'm uh, fighting getting out of this car. Um, we are hiking what is known as the Pressy Cat Loop. It's about a 32 mile loop. It goes up the Presidentials, across over to Mount Washington, and then down. I will probably take the Alpine Gardens because I want to see that. Um, I think I hiked it when I was a kid, but haven't seen it in a long time. So that should be fun. And then we're crossing over to the Wildcats and then ending up back here. So, yeah, in a moment we'll uh, get out of this warm car and get dressed and ready to go. I've got my pack all packed up, ready to go. It's a Kumo 36. I just got it. Um, I've used it on a couple trips. I really like it. Okay, let me show you guys exactly what we're doing here. So we are right here <clears throat> at the Dolly Cop uh, campsite at the Daniel Webster parking. So we're going to go up here skirt the presidentials here to Mount Washington there and we're going to come down here do the Alpine Gardens hopefully camp somewhere along here and then tomorrow go up to uh, the Wildcats so that's a rough idea of what we're doing it's supposed to be great weather for the next couple days and then uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get it done. All right, here we go. This is the uh, first trail we're taking. It's the uh, Daniel Webster Scout Trail. It's right in the uh, car camping site, so. Well, I'm about a hundred feet into the trail and uh, it's already a ton of blowdown. What a beautiful trail so far. Um, it needs some pre-season maintenance, but uh, yeah, it's lovely. It's a beautiful day too. Right now it's not too hot. Probably about seven o'clock. Oh, tree. Um, yeah, I'm digging this trail so far. I'm also trying this, uh, this new fanny belt, which is all the rave right now. I have mixed opinions on it. Um, I don't know. I'm also getting used to carrying the camera gear. So, that's another thing. And also, whew, there's some bushes. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm sweating, but so far, the trail actually hasn't been that bad. It's uh, some blowdown, some stuff to get over. A little wet, but not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, as I slip and fall into the water. Yes. Alright, we're about 3,800 feet, um, about to get into uh, the pine section, which I love the smell of, it's my favorite, it's really why I hike these mountains, because you can get that smell, yeah. We're starting to get up above tree line here, it's a beautiful day, there's like minimal clouds, but I guess I probably should put on some sunscreen. I'm awful at it, but I guess if I do it once today, that will be something. 
I'm actually getting a view, which is nice. It's beautiful today. Definitely worth the seven hour drive to get up here. Ooh, dripping sweat. All right, didn't think it was gonna happen, but we got snow. I don't think it's gonna be much. Just a few patches here and there. Okay, well, that's a little bit more snow than I thought there was gonna be. Still not much, but that was a little steep section. Slid down that a little bit, grabbed onto that tree. With the view, what a gorgeous day. Um, I don't know why I decided to film while I'm standing in snow because my feet are cold now, but uh, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm dealing with. And there's that sign. Worst weather in America. <laughs> Um, the weather is amazing, so we're going to continue. I'm going to check back in with you guys. Probably at the top or at the hut, because I'm losing time with all this filming. I'm not used to it and playing around, and uh, I'm trying to get over Mount Washington today. So, we'll see if that happens. Alright, catch you later. Alright. We'll have... Lost my way following the Cairns, but now I'm on the Osgood Trail. I am that way. Going this ridge right here. That's Mount Washington. So somehow I have to get up over that. drinking water inside and now we're heading up there and uh, trying to get to uh, Mount Washington definitely like doing this more than watching TV that's for sure my uh, awesome little sun neck flap. Super stylish, super cool. Um, so, this is kind of unheard of. It's a beautiful day in the whites, and I pr I've seen only a few people here and there. Um, it's a Friday. I've, I would think I would see a little bit more people, but uh, yeah, it's been, it's been quiet. So, uh, oof, my knee just started killing me. I don't know what it is. There's that cog railway. Now, that's got to be one of the uh, coal burning ones. I believe most of them, most of them are electric or clean fuel now, clean coal. But I think uh, a few of them still run on. The original type of coal. I could be totally wrong. Something's up 
puffing and puffing. Somewhere. Uh, my knees. Okay, still the down section really suck. But right now it feels pretty fine. Let's see what happens. Whew. Never been up on Mount Washington before when it's been completely clear. It's pretty awesome. This is cool. This is the uh, Alpine Garden area. And I seem to be the only one on it. I did think there was going to be plants or something. Pretty flowers, but it's pretty cool too. And it's easy on my knee. So hopefully the uh, Lion's Head Trail is not too terrible. Still some snow up there. Looks like there's people uh, sledding or skiing or something. Crazy. It actually looks like a lot of fun. I uh, kind of wish I was up there. But this is pretty too. This snow melt makes for some pretty mountain streams. Look at that. All right, we are at our junction, and that is the Tuckerman Ravine. Um, the whole thing is closed, so we're not going to do that. Plus, it's a little sketchy to do by myself. Uh, so we're going to take this lion's head trail and hopefully get into some trees and uh, find, find a good place to camp. Okay, I'm pretty sure this the whole bowl is closed. People are still 
skiing down this thing. That is insane. You can see all those uh, skiing tracks there. That's insane. All right, here's a good shot of Tuckerman's. That guy made it up. I think he's about to go down, actually. Check that out. This view was kind of an oh my goodness moment, so I just had to stop. So it's about 5.30. My right leg, my right knee is killing me. Um, so it's slow going, but I'm back in the trees now, so at least I can start scoping out for any campsites. Um, we kind of diverted from the original loop, or from the Pressy Cat loop, but uh, I'm about to meet back up with it again, and um, I believe there is a shelter I saw. Or not a shelter, a, a hut. So, we'll see. I'm a... Uh, old man walking. I saw two guys running up to the uh, summit up there. Um, so, at least I know they're gonna... They're gonna come down this way, so they're gonna... Hopefully... Not pass me, but if they do, maybe they'll check in on me. Alright. Just got... A lot of that to deal with. So yeah, fun, fun. All right, so uh, this is freaking cool. Didn't know these existed, but apparently there's a lake, and uh, oh, like five different shelters around, and there's also some uh, tent platforms where you can set up a hammock. So. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll go over here. There's a lake down there, and apparently the uh, this trail goes all the way around it. And there's there's uh, shelters like this all around. I'm gonna head down here, find some uh, find a hammock spot. And there's bear boxes here and everything. I see the mountain up there. This is cool. I just go right here. There's some branches that could uh fall, but I don't think they would hurt me. I might hurt my car. Alright. Gonna send I might just keep going if my uh my leg wasn't killing me, but I'll send the wife a message saying I'm going to camp here. So this is the Dream Hammock Darien.
right, there's my empty pack. And let me show you what I got going on here. So I'm just saying the uh, Hammock Gear 30 Degree Phoenix. Um, they also, because it's the whites and I was afraid of wind, I also brought the uh, 2QZQ underquilt protector just to keep that wind off a little bit. Um, and then I have a uh, Hammock Gear uh, Burrow 20. And I'll show you more of that stuff um, tomorrow morning. Right now I need to, I have that beautiful view of uh, Tuckerman's Ravine right over there, which is cool. Right now I'm in porch mode, but I'll probably, uh, I'll probably pitch that lower um, later on, because I'm sure the wind's going to be kicking through here. And now I'm going to put that in that bear box and then go down to the lake and get some water. So I will bring you guys along uh, and we'll check out the lake. My other camera is uh, charging right now, so this is just on my phone. But yeah, let's go find some water. So actually the first thing I do is uh, when I get to camp, I make sure all the treats and snacks and stuff are out of all the pockets. So I don't leave one in there. Oh, there's a wrapper. Wrappers and everything, because they have to smell that, and mostly rodents. And they'll eat through your, uh, your stuff. Alright, we are venturing down to the lake now. I also saw some moving water uh, back over there, but that's so far away. Guys, I want to see this. Oh, there's a little rock. Just this little lake in the middle of nowhere. It's awesome. I really hope there's some stars tonight. That'd be so cool. Decisions, decisions. Pack of gourmet. So good. I didn't eat much today, so I'm gonna do the uh, All American Works. So I actually don't use a wrap or anything, I just eat straight. I find it tastes better that way. But man, I am so excited to just not be walking my poor knee. And I hope, I really hope there's stars tonight. There's like, usually there's, apparently, there's like three people at the other shelter and um, apparently there's sometimes like 80 people here, but there's only like three, so lucked out. Alright, I'm gonna heat up some water and then uh, eat some dinner. By the way, I love this, uh, this Gossamer Gear Pot Cozy. Oh, well, I can't do anything with one hand, so. Should have uh, heated up this alcohol a little bit first. Well, let's go on once that heats up a little bit, and that'll be fine. There we go. It's so quiet. I love that is the uh, fancy feast stove. I love it. It's just so quiet, and the alcohol works when it's cold. You just have to remember to. Put it next to your body. I've used it in winter. It's great. But yeah, um, I also changed my mind. I'm gonna do the Big Easy Cajun Gumbo Mambo Jumbo um, because I have water here. This takes 16 ounces. That takes two ounces. So I figure I'll save that in case I don't have any water. 
And I'll just supplement it with some other of the heavy food. Yeah. So I'm just gonna watch this boil. Enjoy the uh, peace and quiet if I shut up. And then you got your Tabasco for later. And look at those chunks of, I guess, zucchini. Not the vegetables, though. Oh god, I can feel my Oh jeez. Uh, hold on the fork. That's a pretty boil. I usually don't put all 16 ounces in. I let that soak, and if I need more, then I'll. I'll add more. Oh golly. Okay. This is uh, Gossamer Gear pot cozy for the pot. I actually, I mean, I hold the pot in there, but then I actually use it just to hold my uh, meal. And it's got like a little spoon holder, which is pretty cool. Oh, there are those pesky squirrels. It knows I'm cooking. Yeah, I uh, pitched the tarp down a little bit, or a lot. Close the doors. Those scary uh, clouds are mostly gone away. Kind of blew over there, but they right above us. Hoping uh, it all goes away. Right now I'm just uh, adding some Bonnie's balm to my feet. To say though, these ultras, um, I haven't had like any kind of feeling of blisters. Not f my knee, but uh. No feeling of blisters, which is amazing. Alright, I'm probably gonna crawl into the hammock soon. But I'll uh, listen to a podcast or something for a little while. And then maybe get up when the stars come out, if they come out. Which I'm looking forward to a lot. Alright. Here's camp. Okay, well, I am slowly falling asleep, enjoying the wind. <laughs> um, I'm thinking of alternatives for tomorrow in case my leg doesn't get any better. Um, instead of going across to the Wildcats, I may take get the name of the trail but it just it basically goes uh, over to the golf trail um, and there's actually tending areas over there so I might just make it a short day I might actually hang around in the morning here uh, which I never do um, and just enjoy the day and then head that way um, and then have an easy out on Sunday. But I will let you guys know tomorrow. What, uh, or I'll figure it out tomorrow. Um, once I know how my leg feels. And then, yeah. So I'm just going to listen to a podcast and then fall asleep. So, good night, everyone. Good morning, everybody. So, we are. Just woke up, um, got my stuff up, gonna cook some breakfast. I think I'm gonna make it an easy day today because my right knee is just still killing me. So what I think we're going to do, we are right here at the Hermit Lake Shelters. So instead of going across over to the Wildcats and doing that ridge, I think we're gonna go up to Harbor Cabin and down the Raymond Path which meets up with the AT and then we're going to take this trail over 
to the Osgood Cutoff, which I believe there are some primitive tent sites there, so we can camp there if we want, or we can just head back to the car. So that should make it an easy day. Um, maybe do a little bit more camping. Uh, I'd rather do that than mess up my knee more. Not a bad breakfast spot. Sitting on this rock. That's a good shot, Tuckerman. We're kind of below it now. Oh, we are below it now. By the shelters. How cool is that? All right, we're gonna take this trail and basically just cross over towards the car. Um, this is a less, this is a blue lace trail, so it's gonna be less populated than the major trails. So, be nice and peaceful. We're just exploring the woods today, which uh, is also just as fun as putting in the miles. Um, so it's kind of cool because I saw a lot of views yesterday. Yesterday was a big day, and so today we'll just be enjoying nature. So so far, this little uh, trip change is working out really well. I really like this path because there's not a lot of people on it. It's peaceful. More like a walk in the woods. I love it. Um, except I have to cross this. Looks like I got it Oh, I get it. That's what that uh, stick is for. <laughs> to hold up that tree so I can cross over there. That's, that's precarious. All right, I can hear the auto road. Uh, kind of in, in the distance a little bit, kind of close, um, which means the end to our quiet wilderness trail is coming up. Um, this actually worked out good because you know I didn't even think about it, but it's Saturday, and most of uh, all these people are coming up. In today and they're all gonna be up on the ridges and up in the presidentials so this is kind of nice I haven't seen anyone on this trail because there's actually no reason to hike on it unless you screw up your knee like I did uh, but yeah it just cuts across and an area that there's no views or anything it's just pretty um, so it's actually kind of nice all right we're off the uh, Raymond path and now we're back on the AT. So I did decide to uh oh, 
stay in the woods and hike or hobble for two miles. Uh, now we are at the junction. And what I think we're gonna do is just head back to the car. It's like noon right now. There are campsites around here. It would be beautiful, but I just don't think I could spend that long laying in my hammock. Um, don't get me wrong, I love it, but all afternoon. Uh, and my leg's killing me, so the sooner I get back to the car, the sooner I can add ice, put ice on it. And, yeah. Um, so, I'm gonna follow this Osgood cutoff trail um, down to the Osgood Link Trail or something that we should get me out right back at the car. So, I guess we're going down that way. Now, we're coming up on a classic White Mountains uh, suspension bridge. Which is really cool. Great golf trail, blah, blah, blah. great golf trail to Dolly Cop Campground. Heading down that way. It looks like a beautiful trail from here <laughs> already. Wow, look at that. Look at the different types of green. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. I love it here. Oh my gosh, do I love it here. Oh. There are a lot of uh, campgrounds that you can stay for free in the whites. As long as you're away from water or trail, you're good to go. Okay, this is the intersection we were supposed to uh, come off of if we were coming from the Wildcats. So that means we are close. All right, I hear the road, I hear some people. So I think that means we are almost back at the car. Um, oh, I think I see it right there. So overall, it was a good trip. Not exactly what I planned, but uh, made the best of it. Saw some things I didn't think I was going to see. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming along. Now it's time for me to find some lunch and embark on a long drive home. So thanks everybody. Sure enough, there is the car.